Hey y'all, it's Beth. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for dropping by. So y'all, I'm in my home state of South Carolina in my little hometown. And as many years as I have been here, I didn't know there was a flea market. So I was driving by, I saw a flea market and I thought, mm, well, not very many vendors out. And then I was coming back and I saw this thing that said antiques this way. So I have pulled up to Victoria's Attic. Now, I've never been to Victoria's Attic, but with the Santa blow mold outside, how could we go wrong? So, I mean, let's go in and see what Victoria's Attic is all about. I mean, there's sale signs everywhere, so I thought we would go in. They're having a sale now, y'all. There were so many pretty things in here and the displays were absolutely beautiful. Most of the things that I came across that I was interested in would have been difficult getting back into the suitcase. Now this little Christmas owl right here, this one right there, yes. He is super cute, and I'm not really sure why I didn't pick him up, to be quite honest, because he would have made a great little piece to my holiday decor at my own house. This is the first time I've ever seen the whole set of this. I don't remember, is it like Butter Daisy or something like that? And this tree, just so simple. Just the lit tree with all of the ornaments was so, so pretty and put off the best light. They had so many beautiful pieces of antique and vintage furniture in this shop. And I kept seeing a lot of the stained glass little lights haven't seen those for a while but I saw a whole bunch of them today out shopping and this little turtle I actually saw that D from Thrill of the Thrift had picked that up and there is a little bit of what I think is like a Wedgwood pattern so as you can see they didn't have much that I would be able to take back with me number one on the airplane um, or many of the things that I have kind of like on my lookout list but still a really great place. And that Santa blow mold was on sale for $58. Not a bad price. So what I may do is try another little store. There's a couple of stores that I wanna go into and maybe tack those onto the end of this one. I did go to a Salvation Army up the street, but it's very small. I just found a few ornaments. Um, and I'll put that in the hall with anything that I buy while I'm out today. So stay tuned. We're on to the next store. We are at our second stop of the day. And this one is another just little, very, very small town local thrift stop. And it's called it Broad Street Thrift Mart. Now, I've never, ever been in here. We actually tried to come in here once before and it was closed. So again, new place. Don't know anything about it, but... We'll see y'all. Let's go in, see what they got. They had their Christmas music playing in here today, which was very jolly, but it does interfere with our videoing. So we have to do a voiceover. Lots of inventory in this store. I love this little five candle brass candle holder there. And they had a lot of little figurines. Again, I had to look and touch at all of them, but, um, I didn't want to take the chance on putting those in the suitcase to go back through the airport. A little Avon. Haven't seen one of those in a while, but I think my grandmother used to have maybe a blue one. They had multiple levels of shelves. So you had to look high and you had to look low in this store. Um, and so I, my eyes were just going everywhere trying to see all of the goodies that they had. I love these little pictures. They were $5 each. There were two, I think a boy and a girl. 
and that was a little bit out of the price range for this short thrifting trip this time. I did run across these beautiful butterfly like pictures they have the real butterflies from the different regions um, they had three that were I think the same but only one of those were completely intact and had the piece of paper in the back that said the region that it came from and then they had one of the smaller ones but I thought those were pretty neat and they weren't priced too badly either right here a Wexford little creamer it's a single and again in Dee's video she said she always picks up the singles because she can wait and find the mate to that later on so again I didn't pick it up just from space wise of getting things in the suitcase but um, that's something to always remember is that if you find one just go ahead and pick it up if it's for a really good price because eventually you will find the mate and this was a super neat piece, very different than anything that I have seen before. It was a little incense burner, but I love the red and the blue inlay there. It was um, a brass piece, or it is a brass piece rather, and um, I just thought it was really different. So I liked that one a lot. Who remembers their mom having one of these I know I do my mom and my neighbor had one of those and I thought that was super cool now in this box is a bunch of vintage doll heads and I did look them up in the store comps were not that high on them but I thought that they were pretty cool they had the yarn hair on them I still thought they were pretty interesting I love this little butter dish with the snowman on the top that was pretty sweet it was marked at $10 And here I find a cute little set of Mexican pottery salt and pepper shakers. Of course, they were full of salt and pepper as they always are when we find them. But I was looking them over very carefully to see about any chips or cracks, but I did not find any chips or cracks in those. And this little Noah's Ark bank right here, that was super cute, y'all. There were no chips or cracks in it and the stopper was loose inside of it. Again, I just didn't want to take the chance of that getting broken in my luggage, but it was a great buy. I think it was maybe $10. I can't be certain about that.
end here, I find another set of Pimpernel coasters. I find a lot of Pimpernel coasters, but this is the first time I've ever run across this pattern and it's called Christmas Quilting, I believe. And I am so bummed, y'all. I should have picked up this little milk jug. It was only $4 with the red and the blue um, print on it. Oh, that sh would have been so cute. And this cross would have been perfect for my cross wall at home. But I don't know. I just left it behind. Here is another one of those doll heads. Um, I was looking for the name and the brand, and I did run the comps. They were made in Hong Kong, but again, the comps were just not very high on resale value. Got a few things in there, different things, but I like them. So I think I have one more stop to go, which is a friend of mine's this and that store. She's a friend of mine from high school, so let's head across town, all five minutes of it, and we'll see what they have at their hey store. So my final stop of the day is my friend's store, This and That. And I believe that it has actually been voted best thrift store of our city. So we're gonna go in and see what Stacy has. I so thought that was glass. I was super excited because Christmas was 50% off. And so, you know, I had to look at all of it, y'all. I found this table full of little goodie bags full of Christmas ornaments. And you know, I love a goodie bag. I'm always talking about how our Goodwills and thrift stores don't have goodie bags, but Stacy had goodie bags. And lots of great ornaments paired together. Um, I loved all of the gold. Again, saw in Dee's video that she picked up a bag of, of these gold reticulated and cut uh, ornaments. So I am looking to see just what kind of ornaments are in this bag, but I will tell you that I did purchase several of these little goodie bags here, and I will show you all of the things that were in those goodie bags at the end. So make sure you stick around and watch the haul portion. Oh, we have some of these. I have some of those. Since I was lucky enough to find one little Yadro figurine, I thought I would check them all out to see if there were any more. But no such luck today, but there's an always another day to look and find another Yadro. Thank you. 
colors on that. A beautiful big flower frog, the metal kind, and she was right on the money with the price of that. So that was a good deal. this blue kind of cloisonne looking um, pieces that she had here I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get the ginger jar but again y'all I don't know what to do with the ginger jar so let me know if you know what to do with a ginger jar I mean she had big ones and small ones and that picture was nice there um, my probably favorite of all of those was that smaller ginger jar it just had a really great color scheme to it that's the one and I should have picked it up. It was only $4. I'm also kind of bummed that I didn't get this little copper mold piece right here because it has a pineapple on it. I think it was like $1.99. It was a great little size. It was the copper over metal mold, but the pineapple, very Southern. Such a sign of Southern hospitality. And there is another silver piece here. I think it's in this bag um, that I'm going to look at in just a moment, but it is like a clam um shape and it had a clear dish in the middle so i'm not really sure what the dish was made for but it also looked like it had some type of spoon with it let's see i think it is right here yes this one so if you know what that is if you have ever seen one let me know in the comments i don't show very much of it but it's got a metal top and bottom and then i think it's got like a glass dish on the inside see i know i should have gone back and get that because i kept going back to it
tell y'all, I got me some more pretties. Yes, I did. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to fit the haul into this. I think I am. So it may be a little bit longer of a video, but stick with me. And I'll show you just the few things that I got today when I went out thrifting in my hometown back in South Carolina. Okay, y'all, I am back home. It is actually the next day, and we were kind of busy yesterday. I didn't get to film the haul, and I got a few goodies from each store, and I wanted to show you what those were. Now, I did not film in my first stop, which was the Salvation Army. I told you it's really small. Um, they were very busy in there, but I did find a few little ornaments, and I'm going to show you those. One of them I'm super excited about. Um, I saw these little wooden ornaments and this is just a little wooden girl with some holly and berry. There's no mark or anything on them and I found a little saxophone player and I thought these two would be great for a Christmas themed mystery box. Along with this one, this is a little kitty cat one. It does say it was made in Taiwan, 1989. It's just a little wooden ornament for all my cat lovers, and I thought I would pick that up. These were only like 47 cents a piece. Um, and then I got these set of five little plastic bells. They are um, two reds and three blues. I paid 47 cents for all five of those. But the thing that drew me to this area, you're not going to believe this, y'all. I'm so excited to find it. Look at Santa in a jewel bright. Isn't that cute? Now, he was just sitting on the shelf. He's not marked or anything as price-wise or whatever, but I just love the little Santa jewel bright. I love the little color. I think I have maybe a red and what is the other color? Like a yellow that's on that tree, but they are both elves. And this one is a little Santa. So for 47 cents, I had no problem picking this one up. All right, the next store um, that you saw me go into at the flea market, I actually did not purchase anything in that store. As I told you, most of everything that I wanted wouldn't have fit in my suitcase. But the third store that I went to was um, a little this and that store. And I did find a few goodies in there. The first thing that I spotted were these beautiful butterfly, um, framed pictures. Now this one says at the bottom, Rio de Janeiro, maybe. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what that print says. Tell me if I'm saying that wrong, y'all, because I'm not um, really thinking about it. Now you saw that they had two of these. One of them did not have the paper in the back, so it didn't tell you the region that the butterflies come from. Um, and then you saw another one of these, and this one was actually loose. So for $2.95, I did pick this large one up, and then I also picked up this one from Brazil. And this one is much smaller, and it only has two little butterflies in there. But I thought these were super cute, and so I did pick these up. I thought those would be great in the spring. So that will be good. I did find two brass pieces. Um, I think I showed you both of these in the video. I love this little five candle holder here. Um, just a little brass candlestick, but it does hold five. Um, and it's pretty heavy. It does say made in India right here on this sticker. And then the other brass piece that I thought was really cool is this little incense burner. Now, once I figured out how to get the top on there, um, I picked it up because you can see all of the blue and the red inlay in there. And what I'm most certain of is that it was probably a um, tourist little thing that one of our airmen who went abroad um, brought back with them. And so that's where some of the really cool things end up because we do have an Air Force base here in my hometown. But I thought this was really, really different. And um, I did pick that up and it's pretty heavy brass. Now there's no sticker on this one, but I love the design on it, especially the inlaid blue and the red color in there. I thought it just added something. And since it did have its little top and original chain, I thought that added something to it. 
And the only other thing that I picked up in that store were the Mexico salt and pepper. Now, I don't know if these are Tonala. I do know that they are Mexican pottery, says it right there. Um, but I'm just gonna say they're Mexican pottery. They are beautifully colored. I did not see any chips or cracks in those whatsoever. Now, they do still have salt and pepper in them, so I'll have to untape them and dump all that out before I pack them away. But I did pick these up, and I can't remember. They were about $2. Then I went over to my friend Stacy's This and That and got some cute things. Um, her Christmas was 50% off, so that's always a bonus. And most of what I picked up was Christmas. The first thing that I picked up not Christmas, is this beautiful tin. It's an older tin, and the reason that I picked it up is because of the colors. I love those 70 colors in there, and this was Merida Deluxe Fruitcake. I don't eat fruitcake. Do y'all eat fruitcake? My mom likes fruitcake, but I do not like fruitcake. Leave me a comment below if you like fruitcake, and if you don't like it, tell me why. I don't like fruitcake because it's just way too much going on in a cake. You know what I mean? The inside looked pretty good on both pieces. Um, I'm not, I think that they are the same. Uh, there's discoloration, just slight discoloration in this, but I do think that they are a set. And I picked this up because I love the colors on that. Um, the other tin that I picked up, I'm actually going to use it to package things away, is this really big Christmas tin. Now she had two others, but the um, designs on the front were pretty scratched up and I just chose one of these. It does not have a make or mark on there, but it is older as you can see. It doesn't say what they were for. Now the other ones did have like a label maker on there and it had like Christmas cookies or something. If you hear barking, that is baby Lucy because she must be telling us that someone is at the door. So you can kind of see the two sizes of these two tins. Um, and then the other things that I got were all Christmas ornaments. The first thing that I picked up were these, and my mom says she doesn't know if those are going to be able to um, go home with me or if she's going to keep them, but they're little stained glass angels. They look like this right here. Sounds like we have company now. And there's a pink one. There's actually two pink ones like this. There is two white ones and then just the two blue ones. But I love the little stained glass angels and I think that those are super cute. Mom is talking about putting them on some fishing wire and then hanging them from her dining room window that does get a lot of sunlight. And those were a really good buy. Um, another thing that I picked up was a set of crocheted or tatted. This is an angel. Um, we think that this one probably has not been starched. So it's just the little angel here. And this one, however, has been starched and makes it a little bit stiffer. And her features on her face are a little bit better. Plus, she does have a little halo. So I thought these were cute, even to put on the top of a little small candle. That would be darling. And in the bag with those came two little crocheted, kind of like little coasters or tiny little dresser scarves. I use these under pieces on painted furniture so that um, it doesn't scratch, but I love the design and the color on those. Now I got me some more angels, y'all. And the funny thing about these is when I got them home, my mom was like, I so donated those to her. So I actually bought something that my mom donated, but it's okay. I didn't know she had these um, and I just love them. These are the little ones that are done on the um, plastic and they're like a needle type work here. So I've got a little brown haired girl. I think I have two brown haired girls. So let me look, yeah, two brown haired little angels. And then I have two blonde little angels. I just love those and they've got some like silver threading through there. I have eight of these little crocheted little snowflakes and mom said she actually painted them gold. 
So there are eight of those. And then the last thing that I picked up was this little bag right here. And I had seen D from Thrill of the Thrift pick up some of these metal ornaments. Um, and you gotta be careful because sometimes they can be pretty sharp. But I love this little stocking with all of the reticulated detail on there, some embossing. I just love the way that that catches the light. Super pretty. I also have this little wind chime piece that I thought was sweet. Let me see. See this little Christmas tree? Now some of it is a little bent, but I really think that that is pretty. I'll fix that up by next year. And it's got a beautiful little chime sound to it. And I got a little angel. Now this is stamped on the bottom, made in Hong Kong on the back, right back here. And I think they used to engrave these with names on them but I thought that was really pretty so I picked that was in the bag that I picked up and then just one more piece of that gold is this little beautiful scene now this one says made in China um, but you can see the little hole right here and it goes through the top you actually put it over one of your Christmas lights and then that back just really illuminates back there but I just thought this was so pretty and the detail with the little birds right there so pretty. And then there were just two ornaments that I will add to a mystery box. Um, there is a little The Spirit of Christmas. It's a little airplane from 1982. It does have 1982 right there on there. And also it has a little North Pole 1K Jogging Santa. So I thought he was pretty cute. But I got that for like $3.50 for the whole bag. So I didn't think that that was too bad. And that's all I got, y'all. That's all I got when I was out thrifting in my hometown um, at Christmas time and got some goodies and thought I would share those with you. So if you enjoy this type of content where I take you along shopping with me and then show you what I found and how I'm going to use it, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. Set that to all so you never miss a posted video or a live event. As always, y'all, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.